In this Blender video editing tutorial for version 2.93 I will show you how to set up the VSE and edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. The one thing I've noticed with Blender is every time you learn how to do something they change the goalposts so although most of the video editing that you can do in Blender is similar there are a couple of changes. So first of all if you're new to Blender and you've never um, edited anything in Blender what you'll need to do is come up to the little button at the top that says file select this you may have to select it twice the banners up and then next to new select video editor. Well the first thing you'll need to do um, and think about with Blender is that it's not like some video editors you have to think about what you're doing. So the first thing you need to think about is your resolution. So this is uh, at 920 by 1080 in the resolution box here that sort of standard high definition resolution. If you want to change this there is a little um, preset button here which you can select and for instance here you could go um, UHD TV this is just sizes it's nothing more than that so you could go 4k up here or you could come down to 720 I'm going to leave this at um, 1920 by 1080. Now the next thing you'll need to think about is where it says uh, frame start 1. This obviously means that anything you do will start here at frame 1. But when you come to render a video um, or sequence of videos in Blender, it will only render up to 250 frames. So for instance the videos I shall be bringing into Blender are at 50 frames per second. So obviously that's only going to give me something like 5 seconds. So what I generally do is just select the box that says 250 and put in a, an amount that's ridiculous but well over what I need. So I'll put in on in this one, I don't know, I'll put in 20,000 and then hit return. You can change this afterwards. Okay, rolling on down, you've got an output box and next to where it says TMP, you've got a little folder. If you select this and then you can go to where you're gonna save your um, video. So I'm gonna select my desktop and give it a title here. And then select accept okay next thing is the file format where it says PNG select the little drop down button and select FFmpeg now select the little arrow next to encoding you've got the container here so you can select this and change the video format so I'm going to just select QuickTime you could select MP4 AVI um, so I'm going to just select QuickTime and output quality I'm going to select medium quality and then high quality finally audio if I brought me videos in right now I wouldn't have any audio so if you want audio select no audio and then select the audio you want mp3 I'm going to go for AAC sample rate I'm not too worried about so that's pretty much it so you've set everything up ready to go frame rate you might need to be a bit careful with this it usually works in blender but just think about your frame rate because um, it should change when you bring your video in. Now the next thing I would do is my, my pointer in this screen here, set, um, select N on your keyboard 
and then select view. Make sure there's a tick, tick in the use proxies box and then at present if I loaded a video into Blender it would create a proxy at 100% the exact size. It also seems to now um, prefetch the video so it, it, it does work a lot better than older versions of Blender but because this screen is so small I'm going to select the 100% and I'm going to select 25% and then press N to remove that box. Okay, come over to this file browser here and make sure the larger thumbnails tab is selected not these this one here and then I'm going to use this pre parent file arrow um, and then find my way to my videos and go for all the rubbish I've got on my videos <laughs> select the video and right okay so if I select this clip here I can drag it into the timeline and it'll build a proxy down here now in the timeline you've got a couple of options your middle mouse first of all if you roll your middle mouse you can zoom in and out if you hold your middle mouse down you can move your view around also you can um, use your middle mouse to zoom in and out up here okay now bearing in mind that you're going to be starting at frame one so anything you render will start at frame one one of the options you can use um, in Blender is if these aren't selected just hold your left mouse button down and draw a box over both the audio and the video and then if you press G for grab you can actually move your video back so let's say I wanted to start about here and then use your left mouse button to select this section here won't render so I'm going to start rendering from this point here I'm going to drag this over to the point where I want to finish rendering the video so I don't know let's go for let's go for this part here if I select the very end of this clip hold down shift and then select the green audio the end of the green audio and then press shift followed by S it will snap this back to the timeline so I'm going to bring another clip in so let's go for this one make sure it's selected drag it in and it should snap to this timeline marker here so if I drag this along to this point say here select this edge here on the video hold down shift and select this edge here and again shift s I can snap this to this timeline marker here the reason I prefer to do this rather than cutting the clip is because at any point I wanted to adjust the video I can simply press G and readjust it again so that's G and grab it back out you actually aren't removing it you're just um, setting the point where it will edit from so if I select this one here and then just press page down it will set this marker to this point here so basically if I select this one here say and press page up it will take me to there so again this one here page up sorry page down a couple of times to get me there and again I'm going to do a box select using my left mouse button and press shift s to join this one here drag my mouse along 
Incidentally, you can use the play buttons as well. So, I don't know. Let's say I wanted to finish this clip here. Select this end. And this end. And Shift S, snap it up. Let me just drag this. Right, remove this so we can see this um, keystrokes here. Okay, and like I said, page down or page up. Go to the end of a selected clip. I just do one more video. I don't know. These are just the samples, so let's grab this one, bring it in, and obviously you have to wait for the proxies. That's fine if your clip comes in um, above, but if you want to um, move your clip, just press G and grab it down and then it will eventually snap up to the marker and uh, I don't know, we'll come along to say about there select this clip or rather this end, hold down shift select this end then shift S play the clip maybe stop there again Select this end, shift S to go to the marker, then page down to get to this point here. Select these two, and then shift S. Now, obviously, I've got nothing like um, 20,000 frames. Um, but it doesn't matter because all I'm going to do now is just um, hit page up and that will take me to one frame past the end of this clip so I'm at 801 so if I just hit my left arrow button once it will take me to the very end which says 800 um, frames. So I come up to the end here where I've typed in 20,000. Just type in 800. Job's a good one. So this will render from here all the way to frame one here. And just press play, make sure I'm happy. that'll do for this tutorial and because you've already set up your output folder and everything all you need now to do is come up to render uh, don't select image render image make sure you select render animation and wait for this to finish rendering once your video is finished rendering you can normally tell if it's finished up here it will say your last frame so this is saying frame 800 close this down and hopefully you should have a video but it's been select successfully rendered with audio Hopefully that helps someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.